I've been at AQHA for 39 years. I've been doing color for 25 of those 39 years. Well, color is just a part of registration. My department actually handles more of the specialty type uh, work in registration, mailing manual letters, working authorization, incentive fund, and color is a part of that, and it is a specialty um, type of job in registration. I've been doing uh, color for eight years now. It took a little over a year to really learn and understand the different color genes because you have the extension, which is your red and black, your goody jean, your cream dilution, your champagnes, your roan jean. So looking at photos, looking at the pedigrees, seeing if it's possible. It's been a very much a learning process for all these years. I know now how much I didn't know at the beginning and also how much we've learned through science and through the studies and learning more about color just through the geneticists and the um, different people who, who work on genetics, whether they work at UC Davis or somewhere else. The most common question we have asked is, I just had a foal hit the ground. I don't know what color it is. And what we tell our members is give it three or four months before I mean, we've had, we kind of joke sometimes, let's let it dry off. <laughs> we have 17 now and we are adding more in the future. When we, we hope to add champagne, gold champagne, amber champagne, classic champagne, as well as smoky cream, smoky black. And we also, when they go to a new computer system in the future, we hope to have a primary color and a secondary color. So we're trying to make great strides as, as we can with more knowledge um, and add more colors. Because there are times we really have to, it's like, wait a minute, okay, this isn't possible, but let me look further back in the pedigree, you know, to figure out where this is coming from. And there's even times we've emailed, you know, the lab and asked them for their help because you know, it's harder to find colors being produced on mare sides because they don't have as many produce. So when you're looking for a certain color, you know, say for example, Palomino or back skin and the parent is gray, trying to figure out could she have possibly been Palomino or back skin before she turned gray? Because no horse hits the ground gray. They're a base color. So you start looking back in the pedigree and it happens to be all the mares that are gray. It's like, oh, this isn't working. <laughs> I need help. So I'll email UC Davis and ask them, hey, can you help me out here? A primary color would be gray if a horse is gray, but its secondary color may be bay because that may be the color it was born. Uh, you can have a primary color of dun with a secondary color of cream, which is buckskin or palomino. So that's what I mean by primary color, secondary color. Another really good example is you have a buckskin horse, that's its primary color, its secondary color may be roan. Pick up the phone, call us, that's what we're here for. Pick our brains, we, we don't mind. I think that's my favorite part of my job, is the relationship with the members, how wonderful some of these people are. It's a pleasure to talk to many of them, and they can become your best friends, and they become a person that calls you anytime they need something, and that is one of my absolute favorite things to do, is be able to turn those people into someone that they want to use us as a resource.